Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week's news from the Norfolk Broads covers from the 22nd to the 29th of March. There are a lot of boats out this week. Either that or everyone has decided to visit Ludden Bridge all at the same time. It's exceptionally busy. I think somebody's put some food on the roof of the boat because it's definitely attracted the ducks. Some work is being carried out close to Ludden Bridge, so there's a canteen in the car park. This is the cruiser that's just lost the fender by hitting the barge. So I'll come back to this later and I'll show you the full sequence of events of what happened. Now there are more cruisers about. I don't think they're going to be the only one to hit the barge. This cruiser looks closer than it actually was. Before I tell you the news, shall we just have a look and see what else I've spotted while I've been sat here? It's been quite busy, as I've said already, uh, but mainly without drama, which is good, isn't it? When I see boats with dogs on board, I often think, what is the dog thinking? You know, what goes through his mind? This one's quite happy. He's got his own crew to, uh, to chaperone him to wherever he wishes to go. It's certainly been windy here this last week and several of the cruisers have got caught out with the wind and the tide knowing which side to moor and which side to avoid. Obviously this has been filmed over a couple of different days. I'm not quite sure how I've managed to get some of the footage looking as though it's on a slope. Look at the bank opposite that's going down to the left hand side of the screen. What that's all about I really do not know so we're just going to go with it okay. So let's go back to this cruiser and see what happened. The wind, I believe, I am no expert with boats. I haven't got a clue. But it seemed the wind was pinning them against the bank. And yes, at this point, the mud weight is down. They put it down when they moored up.
this man who's just getting the fender out of the water, complete with the metal thing that attaches it to the boat. He'd helped the crew of this cruiser for, you know, quite a while to help them and try to get them to reverse out of the mooring space. He's now waiting at the bridge for them to go past and he hands them their fender back. Beautiful sailing boats moored opposite. Look stunning, don't they?
as lovely as it is, just watching the boats go past. It's meant to be a news video, so I think I better tell you some of the the stories that have been happening this week. And actually, there's some stories that when I... Because obviously I get to a point with the video, I need to stop it so that I can upload it and edit it and do everything I need to do for it. And sometimes I miss a couple of stories that happen perhaps on the Friday. So there's a couple of stories in here as well that I've missed probably last week. Or maybe the week before. <laughs> At least I'm honest and tell you. A man living at Bernie Arms beside Braden Walter has appeared in court this week after one of his dogs bit a walker along the Weaver's Way footpath. A greyhound cross lurcher bit the walker three times. Mr Pennington, the owner of the dog, was ordered to pay the victim £200 after admitting being in charge of a dog dangerously out of control, causing injury. Further details can be found in the write-up that goes with this video. A tree which fell into the River Yare a few weeks ago has now been removed. It couldn't be moved until the water levels had subsided. There is still a small section of the stump which is attached to the bank and it's marked with yellow posts. A Norfolk Broads pub in Hofton has reopened after a 1.4 million refurbishment. The King's Head has a new pub garden as part of its new development. After this winter's widespread flooding, possibly the worst in generations, the Broads Authority have revealed new rules which will help dictate future decisions over housing and development. If you would like to know more about this story, the link for it to the EDP article is in the write-up for this video. The Norfolk Mead Hotel in Coltishaw are launching a new spa at the hotel in 2024. Boaters are to embark on an epic voyage of all seven rivers of the Norfolk Broads. The Nancy Oldfield Trust, based in Neatershead, is planning an 11-day trip later this year to cover 166 miles in two boats, covering 20 different locations. The Trust celebrates their 40th anniversary this year and it's hoped this expedition will raise the profile of the charity, which provides boating opportunities for disabled and disadvantaged individuals, families and carers. Norfolk Broads village named as County Sewage Hotspot. Beeler, a tiny village in the Norfolk Broads, has been revealed as a location of the most sewage spills in the entire county. Anglian Water has a sewage treatment works in Beeler. And figures show wastewater flowed into the Bure for 2,000 hours in 2023. You need to be careful getting off your cruisers. This lady did actually take a tumble as she got off this one. She was okay, but I don't actually show her falling. She caught her foot on the key heading and that's what made her take a tumble. During my time of filming for YouTube over the years, I've seen several people injure themselves getting off a boat. Broken wrists, dislocated shoulder, or they've fallen actually into the river. It's never nice to see, and then these poor people have got to be like that for the rest of their holiday.
you remember the cruiser earlier that hit the barge? Well, this is now the cruiser that the man who tried to help them is on. And he's doing exactly what he tried to get them to do. Reverse out into the river. And then you can get away easily. If you look carefully, you can see they're all waving as they go past. Have a wonderful holiday, everybody. I did speak to this man, a lovely gentleman, and I have his total permission to include him in this video.
tugboat Brian to the rescue once again. If you've enjoyed watching today's video and hearing about the news for the last week and watching the increased numbers of boats that are back here at Ludden Bridge and the River Ant, please give it a like for me and you can share it. You may wish to share it if you see yourselves on holiday. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, perhaps you'd like to do that too. Thank you all for watching. Have a lovely Easter weekend. It's been my son's birthday this week. Well, yesterday actually. So we are all going out somewhere very nice over the weekend to celebrate his birthday and uh, there might be a river involved <laughs> I'll film it you'll see take care have a lovely weekend bye for now